Hi guys and welcome to another haul. So today's video is going to be a everything five pound haul. So I'm just going to dive straight in because I'm excited to try these pieces. I don't want that. Um, obviously all of these were five pounds. These I've never tried anything on five everything five pound before, um, and I'd seen loads of people. And trying loads of different bits and I really wanted to just give it a go so I thought I'll try it out myself so the first item is there is no particular order first item is from a brand called bridge art um, and it's just this hold on it's just this white hoodie with a sort of gingham hood, gingham sleeves but with a white calf and oh I'm not doing this much justice guys then you go down and it's like a gingham bottom but it's like a shirt material so it's like you've got a jumper over a shirt I just really like that style um so yeah I just thought I'd give that a go obviously everything five pound is um stuff that is old stock in shops that have just like gone out of fashion um so yeah so this one again is from Yenseon probably not saying that right but it's the same brand as this I didn't realise it's just got a different name um, so I just picked up this really funky shirt um, with just loads of different ladies on in brightly coloured hair and hats and I just thought it was super super cool so you've just got this like collar detailing here and then it goes down long sleeved and you've got your button up here um, and yeah I just thought this would be really cool to just wear with some jeans um, just to make it a little bit more funky um, so I'm gonna have fun styling that. Everything I style, guys, will be on my um, Instagram. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a little real styling each of these items. Next thing I got was from from a Arcatel. I don't know, I'm probably not saying none of these names right guys, but that's the brand. Um, and it's just this, I can't work out what colour this is. I keep saying this is red, my mum's saying it's more like a rose, and my dad says burgundy. So I don't bloody know what colour this is guys. So I can't tell you, because I'm a bit funny when it comes to these colours, I get a bit colour blind and I can't tell you what colours these are. Um, so it's just got this big collar here. It's just this really like oversized style shirt um, and it just comes down it's got puffed sleeves like, like so and then you've just got these button detailing down the front here I I love the fact it's got great big pockets here I can't really show you not too much this and I love the fact that you know normal shirts have like the little tiny buttons this has got the great big buttons that actually match the colour of the shirt so they're kind of hidden um, but I just loved it and then look this is the back you get a sort of feel how the back sort of goes down um, this is a really nice material as well I don't know what material that is okay the next thing I may it may be too big like too long for me does this not tell you the brand no I think this brand is big daft just got the label there that says big dart this is a maxi dress so it may be too long for me but I'm getting into my sewing stuff so I might be able to take it out myself but I just love this for spring summer so it's just got these like daisies on and it's just tie up detailing and you've got this long sleeved um, cuffed bottom but got this tie up to go around your neck which I think is really cute and then it just goes down into a maxi dress 
but I'm not sure whether this is going to be miles too long for me because as you know I am a short ass so it may be the fact it may just be that I need to take it up um, so I will give that a go and see how I get on with taking that up um, the next one is from a brand called New Trend and it's just this jumpy here so it's just all these different like pastel colours and they just make little faces oh, I just thought this was super cool um, and it's kind, it's kind of cropped but on me it probably won't be cropped because I am short um, and it's just long sleeves and yeah I just thought this was like super cool just to chuck on like some something extra you know um, and there's lots of things at the moment that have different faces on and faces on faces on um, that are quite on trend at the moment and I actually really like that so I picked that up okay the next piece I got it oh, is from Darvis looks I'm I'm doing these brand names no justice so it's just this super oversized jumper but what I liked was the design on the front the moon design and this reminds me of stuff that my granddad would wear um, like back in the day and I just thought this with some like skinny jeans and some trainers would look quite 90s um, and like look kind of cool um, so I just picked this up and it's got that, um, what do you want to call it, that like fleece lining, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that, you can't see that, it's got a fleece lining on the inside guys, so it's going to be nice and warm, okay the next piece is from Cabba, Cabba? probably saying that wrong as well it's just this jumper with loads of holes in it and you're probably thinking oh my god it looks like loads of moles loads of moles no loads of moths have been eating your jumper but I just thought this was super cool um just a super cool piece it's just this really super big oversized jumper with a v-neck detailing and just long sleeves like this and loads of holes in so but I just thought that you know sometimes when you put a jumper on and you're just too hot in a jumper but it's too cold to not wear a jumper well I thought this would be perfect because you've got holes in it and breathable am I wrong? <laughs> probably but I just thought it would be like super cool to style through um, spring um, and then the next piece I picked up were these trousers. Now I've got a feeling these are going to be too long for me again because they are quite long. I'm showing you the back. So this this is them. They I just fell in love with them because they have roses all over, um, and they're just this. They're stretchy and they just come down, but they come down into a flare. And recently I've been really been getting on with my flares lately and getting into my flares so I just love them this is the back as you can see the back here sort of like gathers it sort of just like gathers and it's just quite nice it's also got this nice little um, elastic -y bit here but it's got like lace on it which is quite nice these are actually two different layers <coughs> excuse me so you have the trouser layer and then like this netting material over the top um, I don't know what brand this is because they don't have a label which is really blooming annoying um, but they I just love them I love the print um, and I just can't I think these will be really nice to wear during summer during spring you can just it's a really buildable piece and then the last item yeah, last item is this and this is from Shuffle, a brand called Shuffle. And I think this must be my favourite piece. Um, so I've got a jacket from Primark. <coughs> Excuse me, hold on. 
juice. So what that was about. So I apologise for choking in your ear rolls. Um, so I got a shacket from Primark a little while ago, but it started to go a little bit bobbly. Um, and that was just like a grey and white one. Um, but when I see this one, oh, I had to get this one. I mean, it looks a bit oversized, but shackets are supposed to be oversized, so it's totally cool. Um, so it's just this orange and lilac one, and I just thought this would be super, super cool and super cute to wear. It's got this pocket detail in here. You've got the oh god, I'm dropping it. You've got the button detailing just here. And what I like about this one as well is you can wear you can wear it long, you can wear the sleeves long and do them up with the button that does up here. Or it's got one of these little tie things that I never know what they're called. And you can literally where's the tie thing on? You can literally tie it up. Obviously a bit neater than that because that's just not neat at all. But you would obviously tie it up neater than that and then it would be like a cool three quarter length. Which I thought would be quite nice for spring. Um, and I know these colours are not exactly spring. They kind of remind me a bit of autumn remind me of scarecrows but um like scarecrows and like pumpkins and things but because of the lilac in it which is quite light i feel that you could get away with wearing it in spring as well like with light colored clothes um which will be super cool to style up so i can't wait to style that up so that is everything that i got in my haul today guys i hope you have enjoyed and i will see you in my next video i will be doing a reel on how to style all of these items over on my instagram so if you are interested in seeing that just um click the link below in my down bar and i will see you guys in my next video i hope you have a wonderful week and i will see you later bye